Good day, everybody. Welcome to another new lesson in Earth and Life Science. Are you ready to learn? Okay. So, for today, our lesson will be about our planet Earth. Okay. So, this is our planet Earth. Okay. So, talking about our planet Earth. So, our planet Earth is a unique planet. Okay. So, why? Why is our planet Earth a unique planet? Okay. Because the planet Earth is the only planet with life. Okay. It is the only planet with life. So, if we can compare it to other planets like uh, Venus, Mars, and other planets of the solar system, Earth is the only planet with life. That makes the planet Earth a unique planet. So what are the factors that makes our planet Earth unique? Okay. So number one is liquid water. The planet. Okay. So we all know that water is an important component of life. Okay. All living things need water to survive. So, if we can take a look at the planet. You, you can observe that the planet Earth is almost colored blue. That's why the planet is sometimes called the blue planet. Because 70% of the entire planet is covered with water. Okay. That's why the planet Earth is sometimes called the blue planet. Number two, okay, so the number two factor that makes our planet habitable is the planet Earth has the right distance from the sun, okay, the right distance from the sun. For example, this is the sun, and this is the planet Earth. So the distance between the sun and the planet Earth, we can say it's optimal. It has the right distance. Why? Because if the planet Earth is too far away from the sun, planet Earth will be cold, okay? But if it is too near naman from the sun, what happens? The planet Earth will be too warm. So, number two factor that makes the planet uh, habitable is because our planet Earth has the right distance from the sun, okay? Number three, the planet Earth is protected from the harmful solar radiation of the sun by its magnetic field. Okay. So, ang ating planeta has a magnetic field. Okay. Saan ba nagagaling yung magnetic field? It comes from the, uh, from the inner core of the planet Earth. It radiates a magnetic field. These magnetic fields protects the Earth from the harmful solar radiation. Okay? Number four. Uh, the planet Earth is kept warm by an insulating atmosphere. Okay. So, yung planet Earth natin is covered with an atmosphere. So, when we say atmosphere, it's actually the gases that covers the Earth. So, these gases also acts as an insulation. Okay, insulation. It means it helps to keep the planet warm. Okay, so by keeping the planet warm, so it, it does not experience extreme, too extreme temperature. Okay. Number five is it has the right amount of ingredients for life. Okay. When we say ingredients for life, these are the elements or the substances that is needed for life. Okay. So, two examples of these elements needed for life are carbon and uh, water. Okay. So, all living things are made up of carbon and water and other ingredients. So now, Let's take a look at the similarities between the planets 
Earth, Venus, and Mars. Okay? So, what are the similarities between these three planets? Okay. First, these three planets are all terrestrial planets. Meaning, they are made up of solid rocks. Okay, so they are all made up of solid rocks. Okay. Number two, they all have an atmosphere. It means these three planets all have gases. Okay. Number three, they all have almost the same time to rotate on their axis. Okay. So almost, almost all the three planets, they rotate on their axis almost at the same time. Okay. Number four, Earth and Mars both have water. Okay. So Earth and Mars both have water. Uh, Venus has no water. Okay. So your number five, they all have carbon dioxide. Okay. So these three planets all have carbon dioxide. And number six, they all have landforms. Okay, when we say landforms, they can be in the form of uh, mountains, hills, or other rock formations. Okay, so all these three, all these three planets have landforms. So those are the similarities of the three planets. Okay, let's take a look at the differences between Earth, Venus, and Mars. Okay, number one difference is Venus has no water. Okay. Walang water ang Venus. Okay. Then number two is Venus and Mars don't have oxygen. Okay. So yun yung number two. Venus and Mars don't have oxygen. Okay. And number three, Earth has life forms. That's the most important thing, number three. Earth has life forms. So that is our lesson for today. Thank you for watching and listening to this video lesson. See you in the next lesson.